Hi kids! Today we are going to make this artwork about saving our bees. Bees play a very important role in keeping our earth green and healthy and full of plants. So one of the ways to save them is by planting more flowers in our garden. Why? That's because bees rely on flower nectar. This flower nectar is the food for the bees and we call it honey. The bees will collect all this honey and put it in their beehive where they lay eggs and also store their food. So for our artwork, you need a few things. I want you to go get a big piece of bubble wrap. If you don't have a big piece, it's okay, we'll still be able to use a small piece. And next you need a background paper for your sky. It can be any color that you like. You need a piece of white paper. It can be a scrap paper as well. You need paint and you need some color markers. And of course your palette and water. And not forgetting glue, scissors and your paintbrush. Let's put this white paper aside for a while. We are going to work on our background first. Let's create a huge tree that is coming up like this. With branches branching out like this to hold our beehive. So I'm going to pick a brown, or you could use black, it's up to you. I'm going to draw a straight line from the top to the bottom to make a tree trunk. A huge tree trunk. You notice that my tree trunk is going from small to big. Then I'm also going to add a branch coming out. So I'll maybe start from the top here. It goes up, like going up a hill. You can keep the line a bit jiggity jagged. It doesn't have to be very straight. And then you want to draw the second branch out, but it's going smaller and smaller, and you end up with a pointy end. Then you can also add more coming out on top. It's kind of like a lightning. Then I add one more going down. Next, I'm going to add some wooden texture in my tree trunk. If you have a tree at home or if you have any plant, you notice that they have these spirally lines or these wooden grain lines that are going along the tree trunk. You can also add some inside here, just some tiny ones. There, my tree trunk is done. If you want to add color to your tree, you can use crayon or color pencil. Once our background is done, let's put this aside and start creating our beehive. I'm going to use my marker next. You can use a pencil to draw this if you want to. For our beehive, you want to put it roughly like this. So we are going to trace out the shape on this white paper first, but you want to make sure that your shape is big enough for this area. Not too teeny eeny meeny, but not too big. Just nice for it to fit here. I'm going to put a dot here and a dot here. This is going to be how big my beehive is. I've made two dots. Now it's just to join them together. Join them like a smiley face. Like a smiley face. Just like that. And then I'm going to draw a sad face on top. Like an N. Like that. And then I'm going to join them together. It's okay if it looks a bit weird. Beehives come in many different shapes and sizes. And I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, my beehive is done. Our beehive is not gonna hang like this. It's actually going to hang upside down. Like this. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm actually going to use this shape to trace on my bubble wrap. 
on your bubble wrap you realize that there's one surface that has all the bubbles coming up so it's very uneven and you have another surface that is quite smooth you want to make sure that you're tracing on the smooth side so with the marker pen again just follow your drawing and trace it out and then just cut it out and there my beehive is cut out if you don't have a big piece of bubble wrap that is big enough to cover your beehive don't worry you can still use this piece of paper all you need to do is later on when we apply paint on your smaller piece of bubble wrap you can just put the paint and print it on top of the beehive to create some interesting textures. For those who have already cut out the bubble wrap, let's cover the table with newspaper and we'll start painting. The first two colours that I'm going to use are yellow and white. And then for the flowers, I'm just going to go ahead and pick some colours that I like. You don't have to follow what I use, you can just pick any colours that you prefer. These are going to be for the flowers. First step, we are going to paint our bubble wrap with yellow. When you're painting, you want to use your other hand to hold down on the bubble wrap so that it doesn't move around too much. It's okay if you get your hands a little bit dirty because that's what art class is all about. Getting messy. Just make sure you wash your hands before you touch anything. <laughs> I'm done painting the beehive. I'm just going to let this dry. Next, let's take out our background paper. Now we are going to do something very fun. We are going to use our finger to do some painting. So what you need is to prepare the paint inside the palette so that you can dip your fingers inside. I'm going to put some white and some yellow in the palette. This is going to become our bees. Now you might ask me, but teacher, how about the black color? Bees have black stripes. Yes, I know, I did not forget. But we will add the black stripes later on with a marker pen after the paint has dried. Now I'm going to take out my pinky finger, which is the last finger. I'm going to dip it into the yellow. You want to make sure that you have the whole finger, quite a long stripe covered. And then you just go into the paper and just print. And another one. Print. And another one. Print. You want to print it all over the paper. These are going to be the bodies for our bees. You can have some on top here as well. you notice that I've left the middle part empty. This is so that I can have some space to put my beehive later on. Done. Now I'm going to take out another finger, a clean one. And all I need to do is just dip the tip of my finger. Just like that. And then I'm going to make wings. So basically it's just two dots on top of the body. Just two dots. Or you could also make four dots. One two, three, four. Then it looks like the bee is flying. So go ahead and give all our bees some wings. Now we're done with our bees. Let's create some flowers using fingers as well. For the flowers, it's very simple to make. It's the same as the bee. You just want to dip the tip of your finger inside. And then just make a dot in the middle. Just like that. And then I'm going to use another clean finger to create some flower petals. For the flower petals, you just need to go around the circle. Just like that. See, I have a flower already. So again, just make a dot in the middle of the flower and another color. 
just go around the circle for the flower petals. Okay, my flowers are done. Let's just put this aside. I'm just going to go and clean my hands first before we start assembling everything together. Okay, my background has pretty much dried. A little bit wet, but it's okay. But the most important thing is that my beehive is already dry. So we can paste everything down. Now let's just put a bit of glue. And I'm going to apply my glue in the middle of the paper because that is where my beehive is going to go. I don't really need a lot, just a bit. And then just paste it down like that. And then gently, you want to press down on the, on the bubble wrap. And then last but not least, let's take out our black marker to add some stripes for our little tiny bees. All you need to do is just to draw some stripe lines. Oh, let's not forget our tiny antenna. You want to make sure that your paint dries completely before you move on to this step. And then as a finishing touch, I'm just going to write save our bees at the bottom over here. If you don't have any empty space at the bottom like I do, you can write your words at any empty space that you have. And there you go, a very simple artwork where you make use of bubble wraps to create some very interesting textures for the beehive. And you also learned to use your finger to do some printing for our tiny bees and our cute little flowers. I hope you had fun exploring all these techniques for our artwork. See you another time, bye!